Hello, this is Kervin with Otoy, and in this tutorial video, I would like to discuss how to install the Octane render engine for Unreal Engine and how to get started with it. So the first thing you would want to do is download the Octane installer for Unreal Engine, and then we can just simply double click on it and it will open up the typical Windows installer here. Uh, and it should find where you have your version of Unreal Engine installed. I have mine on a D drive and program files. And if it's not the right location, you can just hit the browse button here and then you would hit install. So it's a fairly straightforward installation process. I already have it installed, so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that. And then once you have the engine installed, we can go to the Unreal Engine launch window and launch the engine. And once we hit the launch button, we'll see that it says uh, we'll have the, the browser and we can um, create a new file or open up existing projects. I'm going to go ahead and create a new file. I'm going to do this with starter content and I'll put it, you know, in a certain location here that I have on a, a D drive and I'll just call it new project and I'll say create project. Once the project loads, you should see an Octane button up here in the Unreal Engine toolbar. Uh, now again, I'm using starter content, so this is just the standard starter content scene with the two chairs and the table. Uh, so what we will do now is where it says Octane, if we click the, the little drop box next to it, we'll see that everything's grayed out. Uh, and that's because we need to load Octane first. So I'm going to click on the, the giant Octane button here and it will load the engine. Now, if you don't see that Octane button there, this is the Octane viewport window. I'm gonna just put that out of the way for a second. If you don't see the Octane button here, it either didn't install properly or uh, it may not have activated the plugin automatically. So if that's the case, if you don't see the Octane button here, what we need to do is go to the edit menu and then go to plugins and this is probably a little out of my recording window here, so let me just resize this. So in here, we should see a, an option for the Octane renderer. So we can, if it's not enabled, you can hit enable, and then you'll just have to reboot Unreal Engine. And at that point, you should then see the Octane button here. So once we hit that Octane button, we've loaded Octane into our current Unreal Engine project. And that should basically do two things for us right off the bat. Uh, first of all, it will add over here in the outliner an Octane render target actor. That's sort of our gateway to working with Octane in Unreal Engine. And it will also open up the Octane viewport. The Octane viewport won't show anything yet until we actually initiate the rendering process. Now, if you don't see the Octane viewport, if it's closed for whatever reason, we can come up here to the little drop menu next to the Octane button. And now all of these options will be available because we have the Octane engine loaded. Uh, so here I would click on viewport and that will open that viewport back up again. So what I need to do in order to see the current Unreal Engine scene being rendered with the Octane viewport is I would need to come over to the world outliner where it says the, where we see the Octane render target actor. And down here in the details panel is a big render button. And that will initiate the rendering process. So if I click on the render button, I give it a, a few seconds here as it compiles, it's now rendering the current Unreal Engine scene using Octane. So you can see everything here translated over pretty nicely. You know, I didn't have to make any conversions. Even this glass material is showing quite well in the Octane render engine. And this is, this is in real time. If I come over here, I'll just sort of put this out of the way or let me try to resize it a little bit. If I come back to my viewport and move around in here, you'll see that, you know, I get a, a real-time preview of what's what's happening as I, I move around in the render view. So that's the basic process to get started. It's, it's pretty simple and straightforward, just a few steps. Again, the review, uh, we install the Octane render engine. 
And then we need to make sure that the plugin is loaded from the plugins window here. And then I can click on the Octane Render button to load the engine. It will open the viewport, the Octane viewport, and then I can hit the Render button here, located in the Details panel for the Octane Render Target Actor, and that should get us up and running.